Hello everyone, welcome back to your 15th Python tutorial. In this video we're going to be talking about the if statement or conditional. Now what is the if conditional? Basically it'll take a question and it will give different results depending upon the answer to that question. So let's, let's think of a real world example. Let's say we have this uh, club, right? And you have to be at least 18 to get into the club. Well a question might be are you 18? If the answer is yes, 18 or older, then welcome. If you're not 18 or older, then we'll say go away. Well, that's a conditional. It's called a conditional because the, the end result depends upon the question answer. So let's see how we would set this up. If age is less than 18, colon. So this is the question that we are asking. Here's how we set it up. If h is less than 18. This completes the question and then we put a colon to say what we want to do if our age is less than 18. Now the only problem with this is that age is not defined. You can see we, we never defined age so Python has no idea what age really means. So the first thing we're going to have to do before we start this thing is we're going to have to go age has the value, let's say 15, right? Now we can say if age is less than 18, colon. Now when we press enter, it's going to go to a new line and indent it. You see we have this big space here? What that tells Python is that anything following this belongs to the if statement. So all of the stuff we type here will only be done if the age is less than 18. So we could say print and then within here we could say you are too young good sir close enough. Alright so now age is 15 and if the age is under 18 we want to print this. So will it print? Well let's think. If we can basically just take this value and swap it for the word age. So if 15 is less than 18, print you are too young, gooder. All right, so let's try it. And you have to press enter twice because this continues the if statement. So press enter twice, and you can see that it did uh, print the results. So now I want to change the value of age. Let's make it 19, okay? And then I want to take the if statement again, bring it down here. And now, if age is less than 18, we want it to print, you are too young. Good. -er. Now it's 19. So if 19 is less than 18, print this, which it's not. So nothing should happen. And you can see nothing happened. So that is how the if statement works. What we can also do is uh, we could have multiple lines right here. So let's try this. Let's take this back down here and we say print come back oops I forgot my quote come back in a few years please alright now it won't only say you are too young gooder it'll say come back in a few years please alright so now age is still 19 so when we press enter nothing is going to happen but now if we set age to 14 and then we do this if statement again you can see that it tells us this so what, why is this practical well in a program some um, some values are going to be dynamically assigned what that means is it might change upon who is using the program and when it is being used it's not set within Python. It's set by the user of the program. So we might have a program that says like age and then you have to insert your age. When the age is inserted it's assigned to the variable age and then we run the if statement. So it's not like uh, we're going to assign it within this Python shell in all instances. Sometimes it'll be created or assigned a value when the program is being used. That's what makes programming useful so we can have a program that is only accessible if you're over 18 or younger than 18 and vice versa. Oh uh, yeah, well I already said both options. 
Anyways, um, the next video that we're going to be talking about, uh, we're going to be talking about how to use an else clause or statement or whatever you want to call it. And what that'll do is that will basically give us a new answer if the if the age is over 18. So be sure to check that out and I will see you in the next video.